In today's video, I'll teach you the basics of SEO so you know exactly what it is, how you can benefit from it, and how you can get started implementing SEO best practices on your website today. So let's get started. So what is SEO? So search engine optimization is the process of updating your website so that search engines can easily access it, understand what the pages on your website are about, and index those pages so that they can show up whenever someone does a search inside a search engine. Now, why is SEO so important? Well, it's important because no one is going to visit your website if search engines and searchers cannot find it. But if people can find your website, then you will get more traffic to your website, more leads coming in for your business, customers, and ultimately more revenue. So if you want to grow your business, then you must focus on SEO. Now I want to take you through a four-step process so you can get started with SEO today. Now this is my simple four-step process to get started with SEO today. So the first step is all about indexation. So we want to make sure Google can read and index our website. And in order for that to happen, you need to create what is called an XML sitemap. Now an XML sitemap looks something like this, and it's a list of all the pages on the website. So this essentially acts as a map that search engines can read to help understand what pages you want them to index. And when they do index your pages, whenever someone does a search, your page can show up in the search results. Now, how do you create an XML sitemap? If you are using WordPress, there are tons of SEO plugins that will automatically create your XML sitemap for you. And if you use a CMS other than WordPress, there should be some settings where you can set up and create an XML sitemap through there. Now, once you have your XML sitemap created, the next step is for you to create an account in Google Search Console. So Google Search Console is a website that you can use to monitor any indexation issues, any Google penalties you might have, and to just monitor the overall health of your website according to Google. Now, if you just search for Google Search Console, you'll be able to find uh, this website and just click on Start Now to create your account. Now, once you created your Google Search Console account, click on Sitemaps, and what you want to do is add your sitemap URL right here and click on Submit. And then you can see the status of your submitted sitemaps right here. And you wanna make sure it says success. So now Google knows about your website and they have a map that they can read and know which pages you want them to index so that whenever someone does a search, your pages have an opportunity to show up in the search engines. And next is topic selection. So this is where you focus on topics people are searching for. So create a list of the main phrases and words people mention all the time in your niche and company, and also add to your list all of those main questions people always ask as well. Now, to dig even deeper, just search on Google. Google will provide you with a plethora of additional keywords and topics uh, that you might not have thought about. So just search for one of your keywords, and Google will provide you with a list of suggested keywords below. So these are all great keywords and topics associated with your main term. Now you will notice some data to the right-hand side, and this data is provided by the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on. With the Keywords Everywhere extension, you can see the average monthly search volume for all of these keywords, including the average cost per click from Google Ads, the competition score, and if you hover over these bar graphs, you can see the exact search volume every single month over the past year. So this data is very helpful to take a look at to determine which of these keywords are the most important and most popular that you can target on your website. And you can also see some additional keywords provided by Keywords Everywhere in the widgets on the right-hand side. I also like taking a look at the People Also Ask section to see what are the most popular questions people ask according to the search term that you have entered. And as you continue to scroll, you can take a look at the Related Searches section as well to find additional topic ideas. So now that you've found your topics, you can create pages targeting each one of those topics. 
which leads us to optimization. So this is where you make sure Google and searchers know what your website and pages are about. So you want to make sure your keyword is added to the page title, the page's description, headings, and the URL. So this is a great example. So this page is all about best essential oil diffusers. So it is in the page title, it's in the URL, and let's see if it's in the page description. So I'm going to use the SEO Minion browser add-on and click on Analyze on-page SEO. And let's take a look at the description. And yep, it is right there. With SEO Minion, you could also see the URL, the title, and all of the headings in one easy to read screen right here, which makes it really easy to analyze uh, any web page. So once you've added your keyword in these four main areas, you will also want to focus on user experience. So you want to create content that answers people's questions. Make sure the answer is easy to find and the content is easy to skim. So you can create uh, easy to skim lists, uh, use bullet points, use headings, and also images to break up the content. So this page again is a great example. So you can see there's an image at the top, the text is very easy to read, and the page is all about the best essential oil diffusers, and we don't need to really scroll down too long to find the best essential oil diffusers, and it is in this table right here. So readers can easily find their answer quickly. There's also some additional images, uh, video, and so on. So as you could see, this article is very easy to skim, very easy to read. You can see uh, bullet points, bolded text, some additional images, headings. Now, one frustration that I always hear is that they don't see results of their SEO efforts. They focused on the user experience, they optimized the pages, they focused on the most popular topics, but they aren't getting the traffic that they are looking for. So you want to keep in mind that SEO takes time. Understand that depending on the topic that you are writing about, it can be very, very competitive. So if you want to write about this topic, best ultrasonic diffusers, you are competing against the New York Times, USA Today, Business Insider, and so on. So if you are a new website and or business, it will take a lot of time to rank for a keyword like this which is why you should make sure you publish a lot of different articles targeting a variety of keywords. Now, some will end up ranking higher than others. You also wanna make sure people know about your brand, your website, and the articles you've published. So this is where you may want to focus on networking with other business owners, other website owners, and see if you can have them link to your article and or website to get that backlink. Maybe you can collaborate with other website owners and write a guest post on their website. Maybe you can provide others with specific statistics that they can use in their articles and they can link back over to you. Also, whenever you publish new content, let your followers know by emailing your list and also promoting it on social media. So SEO is a long-term game. It will take months to really see some tangible results. So stay consistent with SEO and you will see the traffic that you're looking for, the leads, customers, and increased revenue to your website and business. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this SEO basics video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on any of the videos on the screen if you want to learn more about SEO. So with that said, I will see you in the next video.